So rules of thumb that I want you to consider with your arc flash PPE suits is that arc flash PPE only works when you wear it. I know that's a silly concept, but it needs to be said. Never wear clothing that contains materials that melt. So underneath your arc flash suit, be mindful to what you're wearing. Because if your arc flash suit were to be overwhelmed and the heat were to, if it were to transfer through, we need to make sure that the clothing underneath does not melt into your skin and perhaps would be further exacerbating your burn injury. So examples would be make sure you have arc rated clothing underneath or at the very least 100% natural fibers. And the reason why I say natural fibers, they're, they would ignite in an arc flash exposure, but they would not melt. And it's that melting that we want to avoid because that's where it deepens the skin burn injury and makes it much harder for you to recover. And all, elect all electrical specific PPE requires a pre-use inspection. Always wash your arc flash PPE separately from other garments. So if you have FR clothing as part of your daily wear or uniforms, you can group that together with an arc flash chute. We just don't want to have you wash non-FR or non-arc rated clothing together with your arc rated clothing. Uh, there can be some cross contamination in the process of washing and drying. The, an example would be when you dry clothing, you typically have a, a lint trap that accumulates a lot of the fibers that are broken during the laundering and drying process. Well, those fibers could make their way into a non-FR garment, and then it could extend the after flame if you were involved in an arc flash. You always wanna make sure that you follow the manufacturer's instructions. With the arc flash suit, the bibs and the coat, we have a label that is inside each of those different products. And that label is heat transfer applied, so that way the worker shouldn't be cutting it out. I know if you look at a lot of the older arc flash shoots with the little flip, you know, floppy tag here sewn into the collar, if it bothers the worker, they may just cut it out. Well, with arc flash PPE, it's highly scientific and heavily tested. There's a lot of, you know, components of that relate to compliance, including the label itself. So make sure the label stays on the garment. And on that label is going to be the laundry instructions. So that's part of the process of, of inspecting the, the suit is you can use the, the label in order to provide some additional information. Uh, and on there will be the guidelines for care, use, and maintenance. We never want you to reuse arc flash PPE if it's exposed to an arc flash. Uh, be thankful that you had it on and that it protected you. And anything that was exposed to an arc flash needs to be disposed of after. And then you'll just buy a new arc flash suit again.